we've, we've got to go now. So, um, Dr. Machongo, your last word, how can we manage this? That's in closing. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, we need specialists. Uh, we need uh, the government to come in. We need uh, corporate organizations to also come in. Uh, we are looking at uh, having uh, um, rehab centers across uh, the states. Uh, talking about the, the IDP camps, we also need some therapy centers there so that we can reach out to these people. So managing this situation, we need to beef up our campaign and uh, our sensitization. People need to know, people need to understand when someone is, is depressed. These symptoms and these signs, they get, they, they're everywhere now and then. We see them, but we, we don't understand. It happened uh, with my friend. I lost a friend in 2013. Uh, I have I was always with him. He has been sending those signs and symptoms, but I never knew until it happened. So most of these symptoms and signs are actually a cry for help. So when we notice those things uh, with our sensitization, I'm, able, I'm sure people will be able to reach out to those people. And when you discover that you can't, you can always give us a call and we will see how we can reach out and help such a person. Um, we have a reaction here from Kenneth Chibuike, who says the federal government should address the economic hardship to stop suicidal acts by depressed Nigerians. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let, let's, before we bring in Dr. Ojo, Dr. Ojo, I'll just read out some things here from the former uh, governor of Lagos State, where he was quoted as saying about 400 million people worldwide are depressed, and of that 12%, that's about 48 million are Nigerians. Well, he said the issue of mental health has not been gi given the deserved attention. So someone in Lagos commits suicide or attempts to commit suicide because of debt. Someone in Benue attempts to commit suicide because of low farm yield. A student in Kano in 2016 was said to have committed suicide, a 400 level student. Because he failed his exams. Another 10 year old, somewhere in Ibadan said to have committed suicide. So different reasons in all of these things. How can we come out of this? Yes, the level of reportage seems to have increased from what it used to be. How can we come out of all of this? Uh, th thank you for, for, for that question. Uh, I want to say that, uh, sorry, maybe the Bible says the poor man and the rich man, they have a common debt. So if you are talking about suicide, People have different reasons why they want to commit suicide, but there is a general final pathway which leads eventually leads to death. You know, so many things, but what are the solutions that uh, we can prefer to it? But uh, if I can create your indulgence, I just want to address one or two things. I think you asked uh, one of my colleagues the other time about the issue of technology and um, has reduced human interaction, face-to-face -face interaction, and that kind of, a kind of risk factor for suicide. Uh, but I, I want to say that on the flip side, that's what we've looked at it, there are people, we talk about copycat suicide, people learn the heart of suicide over the internet. They, they, there are actually people that have gone to the internet to learn the mechanism that they will use to do their own. But I want to say that there is, beautiful way that technology is playing. There are a lot of online platforms, social group, support group that actually create a kind of solace or soccer for people that are going through very challenging moments in their life. And there are even applications that are there for people to be able to assess their own state of mental health and actually get referral to people that could be able to help. And there's one in Nigeria. There's this How Body. It's an application that if you get it, and then you can use it to assess your mental health. And then that's like self-assessment, and you know, oh, I need help or something. So, but addressing What's the- What's the app called again? How Body. How Body. How Body. Is that yeah. B-O-D-Y or B-O-D-I? Yeah. B-O-D-I, How Body, uh, you know. So, okay. very fantastic. Uh, 
So now speaking to the issue of what can we do? Just like there are many problems, we need a multi-level approach. The societal perspective to it, social economic. Now, yeah, one of the things that we can do is the issue of creating safety net. Safety net for people, economic hardship. Is there something, is there a way you can alleviate people's problem now? Poverty alleviation, because poverty is associated with mental health and it gives a continual cycle. And also, I think there is need for us to begin to generate a national discourse. People don't want to talk about it. In the UK, there is this program that is called Time to Change. It's a national anti-stigma campaign that people get to talk about mental health, workplace. You say, oh, today, just dedicate three, five minutes to speak about mental health. Ask somebody what's going on with you be a helping hand for somebody. Now, we've spoken so much about depression, but depression is just one of the many things that can cause suicide. There are more than other causes of suicide. So depression is just a tip of the iceberg. And then, um, apart from talking about safety net, I'm telling you that the specialists will never ever be able to address this issue because Nigeria, with over 170 million people, just have a little less than 300 psychiatrists. Now, if you are saying that specialists get specialist services, oh, so how many people can get to see a psychiatrist? And they are even unevenly distributed. Most of the psychiatrists that we have in Nigeria, you have them in the cities. But most of the suicide which go reported happen in the rural area, unaccessible but to mental health care. Don't you think that this focus, this uh, recent attention on depression, and mental health will cause more people to go into that particular area of medicine? Oh, yes, uh, uh, maybe yes, maybe no, but uh, I think uh, there's not a lot of incentives for people to go in that area. The government, uh, like I said, there are less than 300 psychiatrists in the country, and that's, uh, that's, that's just like one to about three million or something like that. So <laughs> they it's not just about people wanting to go there, but what's the need for me? Okay. And is the system supportive of what I want to go into? Well, if you're going to have more patients, it's going to become more lucrative, right? I'm being stigmatized as a psychiatrist. It's not a specialization. People you want to go stigmatized? into. stigmatized? Oh, yes. They say, oh, the shrink doctor, the mad doctor eventually gets mad. <laughs> have you heard of that before? Oh. You, Dr. Ichido, please, as you wind down, answer the question, are you also stigmatized? <laughs> well, as Dr. Ojo has, has put it, even, you see, the stigmatization doesn't just lie with the patient. Even the doctor, yes. Even you, you could be, be stigmatized by the people that you are treating or your, even your colleagues. Even the way your colleagues in the, host, the same hospital you will say, ah, uh, psychiatrist or the nurses, you know. Yes, I agree with, totally with Dr. Ujo. Even the doctor, the psychiatrist, are also stigmatized. But as he says, the unreported ones are in the local areas. How many psychiatrists? There are not even enough psychiatrists for the township. Doctors of, in, the, in the rural areas. Most of the suicide that maybe would have been taking place could have been as are unreported are in the in the slums in the local the rural areas so a lot needs to be done to get to them and a lot needs to be done to be able to help them as dr Oja said okay um another reaction here quite a number of comments have come in but a lot of them were talking about the question we asked do we want a full-time full legislature but then this one has to do with our topic today and no enigmatic uh, enigmacity says, I'm upset that Nigerians are trying to make excuses for government's failure. Let there be basic amenities. We'll live better. All these are mere talk. The solution isn't the doctors or analysts. It's government non-performance. We deserve better. I don't need an app to monitor my mental health when government fails. I need a good life. I need a performing government. I need basic things. That's from Enigma City. Boom. Boom. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, I think uh, that's where we leave it for this morning. I'd like to thank Dr. Tunde Ojo, consultant psychiatrist, uh, near psychiatric hospital, Aru Abeokuta, 
Thank you very much for coming, as well as the two doctors who joined us from Abuja, uh, Dr. Ubonge Tudo, mental health specialist, as well as Dr. Smart Machongo, Nigeria Suicide Prevention Initiative. Thank you all very much for joining us this morning. Sunrise will be right back with another interesting conversation. Make sure you're a part of it. <laughs>